Yep. So being driving instructors, we have lots of little sayings. First one I'm gonna give you is before you steer, check it's clear. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm actually here at the Birmingham NEC at the Camping and Caravan Show and I'm going to show you what it's all about and hopefully we'll get lots of ideas as well because we want a pop-up group. So this is a bit weird vlogging in public but I thought let's just do it. So just to give you a brief for anyone who doesn't know, we actually have a self-converted Mercedes Vito camper van. I think it's always going to be a working project and this really was like a kid in a sweetie shop. Look at all those motorhomes. I think that might be our next trip, don't you? And to be honest, I quite like the idea of having a caravan, but we're not the kind of people to stay in one place for days at a time. And then we found this very cute dog kennel tent. It's a nice idea, but I don't think our pooch would approve. And I usually find this show great just to get an idea for all the different combinations of storage you can have and just get loads of ideas. But we also really like looking at all the cooking apparatus as well, like the Kadak. I really want a Kadak, just so we can cook outside the van or even in the back garden. But then we stumbled across this really interesting one. It's designed to run on four fuel, so wood, charcoal, heat, gas. Uh, quick in pizza between 90 seconds and four minutes. Wow! 20 pizzas an hour to the restaurant quality. And again, if you take the middle section off, um, you've effectively got just a lightweight beach barbecue. Put cold water into there, and your boiling water for your tea, but it's portable and you can hang it up in the shed out of the way when you need it. And there's also a huge display on tents, awnings, bedding, camper mats, you name it. And a few free activities as well to get involved. So we're now onto caravans. But these storage shelves look very convenient. What would you put in those? Spice racks. That's cool. Oh, I'm having to sit down. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Well, this is, this is tickety boo. But I know camper vans are more suited for us. And I quite like this tailgate privacy section. So out of all the camper vans I've seen so far, not one Mercedes Benz. Very, very disappointed. Sort it out. <laughs> Annoyingly, we couldn't find any pop-up roof specialists here, which was what we were looking for. But instead, just camper vans with that as an option. Let's check out this kitchen. Just got me beans on. <laughs> Let's just make a cuppa while we're sat on the sofa. identical to our own fridge but it has a surprise so it's a Dometic got usual vent and then open it Whee! <laughs> that took me by surprise it looks a little bit awkward to get into but what's this at the top the freezer it's almost like a chest box freezer but a fridge I suppose you've got to be very organized knowing what you're putting in there but it looks very handy and I love this sliding mechanism Oh, the dog would just go berserk, wouldn't he? Where'd he go? Let's go from there now. Apart from the green, I quite like this one. I'm not convinced on an elevated bed though. I think I'd feel a bit claustrophobic for headroom. So then I tried a tilted pop-up roof, just to get an idea. I'm five foot four and there were loads of room for me. But because I'm smaller than my fiance, I'd probably get the narrower section. And I'm worried I'd feel claustrophobic in that. But how about this neat little bathroom? Imagine going for a poo and looking out to the beach. 
or an office made out of campervan furniture. I think I could get on board with that. So although we're not in the market for looking at park homes as such, I was rather impressed with the cosiness of this one. It's nicer than our house. I don't want the sound of that. And it was just so lovely. And then we moved on to some glamping and checked out the yurts and pods. And then after seeing a dog kennel version again, it made us think, let's see how Hans is getting on. Oh, he's scared. He's looking out the window. Speak to him. Where's Hans? Hans. Hello, boy. And um, spin. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? What's going on? He's so confused. Then on to some Doncaster action. And if you're not from there like us, then you might not know that's where Bessica caravans come from. But this is actually a motorhome and I think this was the daddy that I'd take home with me. And having a bed you don't have to put away is a huge advantage. Oh. Even got space for a microwave. Or for something a bit smaller, I think this tailgate completely sold us on this one. You've got the shelter to keep out of the rain. You could dine under there by the sea. Yeah, I, I think this is cool. Uh, khaki pants. <laughs> and perhaps one day we'll get a generator if we do a lot of wild camping and want to be self-sufficient. But for now, I think we'll save our money for other things. I hope you enjoyed that video and got some inspiration. We tried to, but couldn't see anything to do with pop-up roofs, because that is the plan this year, hopefully. But uh, yeah, it was only ideas if we won the lottery. So uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. And next week, I'll actually be showing you how I uh, patched up some of our tarmac at the bottom of our drive. Thanks for watching. Bye. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I've got a camera on. No, no, I've done my hair. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pull the head of hair. Yeah. I'm, I'm warning you now, though, I've never towed anything like the little trailer. trailer. Oh, Here. And we're happy then oh. that we've missed the barrier. Well done. <laughs> we're <Yeah>. at the <laughs> car park. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so strange just seeing in, like someone's up my backside. Indeed. Like the cheeky bugger. <laughs> No, you can tow a, a trailer as long as the maximum laden weight of your car and your caravan together is no more than three five hundred kilos. You're okay. Seven hundred and fifty kilos is if you have a three thousand five hundred kilo van. You can tow a seven hundred and fifty kilogram trailer, taking you up to four two fifty. Seven fifty is a maximum trailer can be before it has to have brakes on it. <laughs>